Happy New Year. I think sometimes that's something we say to people in hope rather than anything else. We're, we're hoping this year is going to be better than last. And there's certainly been a lot of that in the last couple of years. Uh, but it's the time of year when people are making New Year's resolutions. You know, the sorts of things they're thinking about, things they want to do or stop doing or do differently. And really, we use hope in quite a casual way, I think, in everyday conversation. We use it quite lightly. We say, oh, have a good holiday, hope you enjoy your lunch, hope the kids are behaving themselves. We use all sorts of things that don't really say a lot. They're just a very general expression of something. We also use it to describe people and situations um, in the negative. We'll often say, oh, that situation or that person, quite hopeless, absolutely hopeless. It's quite, quite demoralizing and quite deflating. You might have noticed if you're local and if you're not, um, I'll tell you, we put a banner up outside Lighthouse quite early on in the COVID crisis. And the banner says, we choose hope in Jesus Christ and not fear. Now that speaks of a very different sort of hope to the sort of hope of our New Year's resolutions and our desires and aspirations. It speaks of a hope that comes from knowing Jesus Christ as your saviour. In Ephesians 2, verse 12, the Apostle Paul said about the world before Jesus, we were without hope and without God in the world. We've just celebrated the time of year that God sent Jesus to change things in the world. And it's through Jesus' life, death and resurrection that we have certain hope, hope for the future, that through faith in him, we'll have eternal life. Hope for the present, that we're not alone in facing the troubles of this world. And hope for the past, hope for God's forgiveness, that whatever we've done, however bad we think it was, God's forgiveness is always greater. Jesus brought hope to a hopeless world. But Jesus is our hope as well. Our hope is alive every day because he is alive. Sounds easy, doesn't it? But remember the words on that banner outside the church. We choose hope in Jesus Christ and not fear. You see, God doesn't force hope on us. Like all his gifts, all the things that he provides for us, it's up to us whether we accept those gifts. It's our choice. One of the things he gave us is free will, and free will is a challenging thing to have sometimes. I'll give you a few examples from the Bible, uh, times when people are given a choice. In Ephesians 6, it talks about us putting on the full armour of God. It doesn't say God's clothed us in that armour. It says put on. We have to choose to do that. That's up to us. In 1 John 1, it says if we confess our sins... He'll forgive us. It's our choice. Will we confess? Will we own up to the things that we've done? 2 Chronicles 7, we've studied this oh, a year or two ago. It says, if my people will humble themselves and pray, and it goes on to say, and I will heal their land. But it's our choice. Will we humble ourselves and pray? There are some hope choices in the Bible as well. In Hebrews 10, it says, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. Hold unswervingly. We have to decide to do that. We have to make the effort. Psalm 147 says, the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. If we choose to put our hope in his love, he's delighted. The last two years, this world has spent its time focusing on how to stop the spread of COVID. There's fear now, even now, of it spreading again. And that fear itself is spreading. So for 2022, what shall we do? I think we should choose hope. Let's turn fear on its head. Let's spread hope instead. If you're going to be contagious and infectious, do it with hope and not fear. Hope in Jesus. Can you do it? Absolutely you can. Colossians 1 tells you how. It says you have Christ in you and he's the hope of the world. So let's pray.
And I want to pray something from Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. It says this. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. What an encouraging start to a new year. God bless you in 2022. Thank you.